Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Another edition of Let's Paint TV. I'm your host, Mr. Let's Paint. We are coming to you live from Los Angeles, California, providing you the utmost, the latest, the latest information on the creative process, at least, at the very least, my, my, my creative process, my it's all my doings, my workings, my inner workings, my inner sanctum. I'm putting it out for you for for whatever uh, reason. I'm not really sure, uh, but we are. Uh, it's cathartic, I think, at the very least. It's a cathartic kind of operation that we provide to you each and every day, Monday through Friday, 11 to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. There's a number right there, 818-528-4516. Uh, Skype us, Let's Paint TV. Let just, I don't need to hold. I'm holding this. Uh, it's kind of neat to hold it as if. Uh, <laughs> I can just clip it. I could use the clip on, uh, but uh, apparently I feel comfortable holding it. Okay, let's just uh, clip it on here. All right, well, I want to thank you all for being here again. It's my pleasure, my honor to be here before you to talk about life in general uh, and the acquisition, the, the access, the access points of the, the many access points of light uh, with the creative process that uh, are ensued. That was probably the big, big mistake that uh, George Bush one uh, did forget to mention when he mentioned the many points of light, he didn't uh, he didn't include creativity in the the many points of light. All he all he did was uh, include uh, blunt force. Uh, okay, uh, whatever. It has nothing to do with uh, what we're trying to do here. I, my my side commentary has nothing to do with our purpose here now. Uh, and and. Uh, we're always somehow realigning ourselves, re recalibrating. We are constantly recalibrating the the uh, the Thomas Jefferson Technicolor. What's the name of that that musical? I was I was trying to get that. Thomas Jefferson Technicolor Dreamcoat. What was that? That was, uh, I never saw it, but I, I remember seeing the ads for it. Uh, anyone out there? Hello? Anyone there? All right. Uh, anyway, 818-528-4516. We got, uh, oh boy, we got uh, one person watching the show. Is that right? Uh, all right. Fantastic. One, one person. Well, uh, take your time uh, coming in, uh, or or not. Yeah, honestly, it's it's okay. I am so at ease uh, with the idea that we just uh, are only doing a, do this show for for a few people. I'm, I'm all right with it. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, we got two people here. Uh, back and forth. <sighs> nothing, nothing like going back and forth uh, with your thoughts and uh, being uh, not certain. But I think that's that's more more realistic to be be more honest with yourself to not necessarily know what what you're doing, not know what you're thinking. Uh, I think that, that, that there's something good, there's something to be said about that. Again, we don't see enough of this, uh, this kind of, uh, thought process, uh, put out and, and probably, you know, give or take, it's, it's probably just as well, I guess, you know, maybe, maybe society can't handle too much of this kind of, uh, wishy-washy, uh, thought process, uh, 
no real certainty in, in what, what one is going to be doing. Uh, maybe, maybe you can only handle just so much of that. But I'll, I, I would have to point out that we all have it. We all could, could and would maybe benefit from the experience of it. The, the floating, the floating, <laughs> the floating on your, uh, on, on your own ether, uh, uh, your thought ether, your own thought molecules that are just bubbling without any real direction. It's a nice place to be. It's a nice place to be to be kind of set adrift, to float, float on, float, float on. Let me take you to Whoa. All right, another thing I can't uh Thomas Jefferson Technicolor. <laughs> what the What what is the name of that musical? Uh All right. Well, you're, you're watching the program Let's Paint TV. We, we will uh, get started painting here. As customary, we uh, like to f work our way into the painting process. We don't really just jump in. A lot of times people want to jump in. Actually, I, I like to jump in, but I'm also lazy. I'm lazy. So I will be jumping in. And you got to jump in at some point. I, it's like going to the beach, uh, the swimming pool. And, you know, there's sort of like, or the beach, uh, the ocean and the lake and you know the water's kind of cold or or whatever it is and you're not so certain you want to get into that into the into the into the wash but lo and behold uh something at some point you make the decision now sometimes you can make that decision a lot quicker sooner than later obviously and and, the, and painting is sort of similar painting is sort of the same idea it's like jumping into the water uh, and once you get going, once you start moving your brush, your arms, your appendages, you start to like it. You like there are intrinsic qualities to to the process, to to what that is happening. You you uh, and it's 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 really a joyful thing. It can be. It is, for the most part. I mean, obviously, if a shark's going to be about to bite off your hand uh, or leg or head, penis, um, that might not be terribly joyful. Or you're going to drown. You know that uh, you could drown. You could drown in creativ creativity too. You could lose a hand in creativity. You could lose your penis in in the with through acts of creativity. Uh, Really, uh, it is entirely possible. You could die from, from your joy, that you, uh, the joys of, of the creative process. It, it happens. Uh, and so we've got to be careful. have got to be careful. Uh, be cognizant, if you can. Uh, safety. Safety first. So, uh, guys, please, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, just keep, keep an eye on, on those kind of ideas. I... I you know, uh, generally speaking, a painting is, is uh, the painting process is not going to, you're not going to die from it, generally speaking. Though one, one could. Uh, maybe it's a slow death uh, from the, uh, uh, most, more than likely it is a slow, a slow death uh, because of the in, inhalation, uh, intarnations of the, of the fumes, the fumes. And uh, hopefully you can uh, ventilate your your setup uh, or use a, a non-toxic uh, paints uh, then then uh, more than likely you, you'd be better off I guess if you're concerned about that if you want to live to 135 or for forever however long you want to live All right, sit right back, guys. We're going to start painting here any second. Uh, no comments at the moment, uh, and I understand why. Uh, because 
what's the what's to talk about what what's there to say you know i mean it's uh just uh just someone chatting aimlessly it's chatter aimless chatter all right uh anyway 818-528-4516 you want to call the program here you can uh we got another big canvas here look at that wow look at whoa <laughs> hey 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 now wow uh scary I'm, I'm i'm a little intimidated uh actually i'm kidding um uh, i'm actually i feel uh, in some ways with the large canvas i feel a little more freer uh potentially or 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 not I, it really anyway this is not really a large canvas it, this is more mid-size i'd say this is more of a mid-size kind of like a mid-conference not one of the power brokers it's just sort of not gonna you know it's not gonna be like a guernica ever i i don't think though i guess it could you know the mona lisa uh probably one of the more most famous paintings ever is is not terribly large it is uh, probably uh I'd say it's like 28 by 22 inches. I know it's not going to be exactly that size. I'm just speculating here. The size, 28 inches tall by 22 inches wide. That's sort of a standard size that you can buy like at an arts and crafts store. Mass produced canvas here in the United States. Uh, I, I doubt it's going to be the same size uh, in other parts of the world. But uh, so size, uh, size does not matter, I guess, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Now, Guernica, now that, that guy is, is a really kind of a large painting, uh, or somewhat large. I don't know if it's the, necessarily the largest painting I've ever seen. I don't think it probably would or is. Um, but I, I was not impressed when I saw it in person. However... Um, what I was impressed with was the room next to the Guernica, uh, and which was also full of, of a bunch of Picasso's paintings, and they they were more interesting for some reason. And and I think I, I just pe- that's what that's what's kind of nice, guys. If you can do this, if you have, can ever go to a museum, which uh, I I'm not a big fan of, for the most part, uh, for various reasons. I have my own. I have my own, my own uh, reasons. Maybe I'm just jealous. I'm just jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. Uh, I guess because I can't attain. I can never attain that. Yeah, that, that's probably what it is. That's entirely possible. Uh, but but uh, what I liked about the room in front of the Guernica painting. This is, by the way, in uh, Madrid, Spain, uh, at at a museum called the Prado, Prado, not Prada, not not it's not fashion, it's Prado, Prado. Okay, and uh, anyway, gigantic museum, one probably one of my favorite museums. If I were to say one, uh, that might be the one I might like the most. I don't know. They got the Bosch. They got those Bosch paintings. Remember the Bosch. Harmonious Bosch, I can't pronounce his name, from paintings of heaven and earth and death. Those are on display, uh, probably, I guess, permanently on display, I would assume. Just seeing those, just seeing those and, and seeing a whole bunch of Goyas and I guess there's some, the Valaquez and... Uh, Who's the other guy? Anyway, there there are uh, just between the, those elements, and and then the wait a second, wait a second. Ah, oh, I got it wrong. <laughs> I, I I got it all wrong. You should have caught me. Wrong museum. The uh, the Picassos are in the wrong museum. <laughs> I got the the Picassos are down the street. My 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 bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm talking like I'm some sort of um, expert here, and uh, my my ass is grass now, man. You can just smoke me out of this one. Okay, it's the uh, uh, 
down the street, it's, you can walk. You can walk from the Prado down the, whatever street it is to the, the other museum, which is more the modern museum. Uh, and it's called uh, Sofia Ruff, R R Reina, Reina del Sofia, or something like that. I got it, got it pronounced wrong and all that. But it's sort of like the modern stuff, uh, more recent, I suppose. Uh, stuff probably in the last hundred years or something. And, and, and there you have the Picassos. The Guernica, and like I said, I was not I was not that as impressed by the Guernica. It's by itself, though. The room before was a room chock full of Picasso paintings. In particular, they were large paintings of of his uh, studio. Joseph, Joseph, and the amazing Technicolor Dream Cat, Dream Coats. Joseph and the, the that's it. Thank you. Uh, hey, hey, man. Th thank you for uh, pointing that out. Uh, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoats. Dream coat. The, it's just one, I guess. It's just one coat. I don't even know what I was talking about that, but I, I keep on trying to bring that up in my endless, endless monologue of, of nothing to ultimately segue into our lovely painting that we are about to get started here any moment. Uh, anyway, so I just follow finishing up uh, the Picasso's uh, the room before. I don't know. They, maybe they switch it up, and they might very well do. Um, though, though you wonder if they bother to, because uh, I think museums just like to be get get stagnant. I think museums that they love that as much as they they probably don't. I think secretly they they just rather have. Well, we better not. We better not. Well, we can't put the Gornica away. We can't. We got to leave that there. And uh, so let's leave that there, and then let's leave all the other stuff there, uh, and and keep everything else uh, in the basement because it's not worthy of being put up there into the rest of the museum floors, uh, or or we'll, we'll we'll reserve one room, one room out of all our gigantic palace, um, ten-story building, for for uh, showcasing stuff that we might have uh, been uh, acquired, uh, or or old stuff that we. Uh, you know, found uh, sort of slightly interesting, uh, tra tracing, uh, tr uh, trancing, trancing through the, the basement uh, storage room. Anyway, I, I th but anyway, I like the paintings. Uh, so, but I, getting back to my, trying to tie, tie it all, sew it all together here. I don't think I can tie in the, 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 the Joseph and the amazing Technicolor dream coat. Uh, or the Thomas Jefferson uh, multicolored uh, spectrum. <laughs> I think I like that better. Thomas Jefferson multicolored spectrum. Or something like that. Got to work on that one. Uh, but here's a point here. Uh, this, this is, uh, if we're going to get to a point, uh, then this would be the point. And that is... Uh, if you go to a museum, which I avoid, or if you go to a gallery or, or a place where they put up artwork and that you're supposed to appreciate and like, and, and, and because it's up there and someone's validated it, okay, fine, fine. As, you know, and, and there's enough people out there that, that do validate, uh, you know, and, and there's enough uh, cohesion and, and coercion and manipulation uh, ultimately but but whatever reason there's there's enough reason uh, for for a, these works to be put up there uh, but don't don't just feel like you have to like something uh, and don't feel like you have to like it all and and just sort of appreciate uh, whatever strikes your, your you know floats your boat whatever strikes your, your uh, fancy and and then I think that's a perfect example. Uh, you know, yeah, well, okay. Guernica was, uh, you know, famous painting, but I didn't really, you know, I didn't find it that that special. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, whereas, I kind of like the paintings in front that were, you know, in the room before. So, moral of the story uh, is uh, decide for yourself. Decisions. Decision 2013.
decide for yourself, guys. Make your own damn decisions, uh, and and not not let uh, not let everyone else uh, tell you what uh, what are you supposed to uh, like or supposed to do. Uh, and with that in mind, I'm going to show you how to paint. A <laughs> uh, lot of uh, contradictory uh, information we provide here on Let's Paint TV. Give us a call, 818-528-4516, 818-528-4516, or uh, Let's Paint TV on the Skype. We are about to enter the painting format of the program. Uh, it, but, because uh, I really got nothing else to say, so let's just, uh, let's just do that. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm working again more on these. Uh, I got this big show, guys, coming up next weekend in San Diego. Big deal uh, for me. Uh, I don't, I don't show my work much. Uh, not, uh, it's not that it's, it's that I, I don't want to. It's, it's, it's more that um, no one asked me to. <laughs> and probably, I'm sure some of you are saying. For good reason. For good reason, uh, you are you are not being asked to show your work <laughs> because you, my friend, are not an artist. You don't suffer enough. You, you you you're having too much fun over there at Let's Paint TV. You should never be allowed to show your work in a, in an art space, an art gallery. Uh, in fact, years ago, someone made a comment that. Uh, that uh, that that uh, you know that that the the apocalypse uh, will uh, be be coming soon when uh, Let's Paint TV shows uh, ends up showing at the Museum of Modern Art. I thought that was a pretty uh, pretty interesting uh, comment, and uh, one that I always will remember. You remember certain things, and uh, that one I, I thought that was that was kind of funny. Uh, or, or uh, true, <laughs> and, and more, more than okay. San Diego, guys. San Diego, uh, space for art next Saturday night. That's the thirty-first. I'll be making hamburgers and uh, tacos and uh, French fries, uh, fresh, freshly made. There, space for art. Look it up. That's in San Diego. Hope you can make it. I'll be there. Uh, and uh, so I'm making some stuff, some posters, uh, with with that in mind. And so I'm I'm kind of uh, I'm going through some ideas right now, and I haven't really uh, uh, figured out what uh, that will be at the moment. But uh, I am. Well, I guess I'm kind of looking at this one because this one is so juicy, so juicy looking good. I'm gonna have to do it. Uh, and, it, and it's uh, it's an ad for Wendy's. It's a Wendy's ad. But look look at all the darks. I like the darks in there. So uh, maybe maybe let's do that. And uh, what I need to do then is uh, move the camera, uh, the canvas, the canvas, move the canvas over to uh, a more horizontal. I suspect. Though I'm not sure I want to do that now. See, I'm now I'm, I'm I'm going back on my thought. Let's let's look some let's look at some more other ideas. Let's let's do that because maybe I'd be better off making up my own ad as opposed to following one uh, to copy. Uh, mix and match. That's a good one. Look at that. Mix and match. Two for five. Okay, that's that's another idea. We did that one already. The eat. Eat like you mean it. Now we did that one. Now I guess in, in terms of the mix and match, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll get on. You know, maybe I should really. I think I should do like a gigantic Burt Reynolds burger. You know what I'm saying? That's probably what I need to do. Burt Reynolds burger. I, I let's do him big, and uh, um, but if we do it big, where uh, where does that go? What do we do uh, after we make him 
all big. Do we just leave it as a big old burger with him in it? Or do we add some lettering, some type? Which I guess I would. Maybe I should sketch it out. Sometimes it's good to sketch. I don't, I'm not a big fan of sketching out. But sometimes you do might want to make a little quick jaunt. Uh, possibly. So let me, let me just see here. If uh, maybe I should. Uh, decisions. Uh, I'll I tell you what. What we can do here, I got the idea. I just sort of had a new idea. Let's make... Okay, I'll tell you what. Okay, so I, I, I went ahead and I, I said, okay, let's make a Burt Reynolds burger large. But I initially thought I wanted to do this. So... Let's make this a Burt Reynolds burger, but use sort of the, um, the, the surrounding elements as our reference point as a, uh, so we're gonna combine, basically. Okay, let's try that out, guys. Can we, can we do that? If you, you're welcome to paint along with me here on the program. All right, let's, let's do that. Let's get our gloves on. And so with that in mind, let's, let's make this a horizontal then. Make it a horizontal canvas. There we go. Might need to adjust. Uh, as usual, uh, we don't really get started painting until around 1130. Uh, <laughs> that seems to be, be, be kind of sta app, uh, standard uh, procedures here. Uh, that way... Um, you know, that, that why I talk myself into it, you know, because I, I run out of things to talk about for the most part. And then, uh, and, and hence, uh, start painting. So, we we doing that. 818-528-4516. 818-528-4516. Uh, on the program. We're, we're, you're on the program. Hello. You're on Let's Paint TV. Hello. May I take your call? Or uh, may, may I help you? May I help you? May I, may I help you? Okay, uh, so fantastic. Let's get our gloves on, uh, as mentioned. Did I drop my gloves already? Shoot. I Apparently I did. And then that means I need to look for them. Hopefully they are, are safely unaffected by the, the mess I have. From the garbage i think they survived all right here we go now i'm a big fan of doing things that uh, may or may not ever see the light of day not everything you do is going to be oh this this guy is toast okay let me get another glove back again and uh, let's uh, oh okay need some more paint thinner let's open up a new can of paint thinner here some exciting stuff going on here ow all right uh, we had five people watching now we're just down to two uh, and uh, I guess they didn't want to see anybody paint or or they got tired of waiting because they probably got the idea that I would probably never get any paint on the canvas at the rate I, the rate I am going. 
Uh, but uh, we're gonna prove them wrong, aren't we, guys? We are gonna get some paint on this canvas if it takes me all day to do it. Uh, but I was saying earlier, what is uh, nice about doing a lot of stuff is you, uh, with the understanding that maybe some of it just doesn't make make it, doesn't make the cut, you know? So your output, your creative output could be, think of your creative output as, as a American Idol. You know, you got all these contestants and, and they make it through the first round uh, or, or uh, America's Got Talent. You know, they make it through the first round, they maybe make it through the second round. You, you keep, you know, you, you, but then at some point you, 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 you fall by the wayside, you, you failed. And, uh, you know, you think maybe by doing a bunch of work, uh, some of the work uh, does not, you know, it just kind of subpar or, but what, what, why is something subpar? I mean, and when, when does one become so, so, uh, I guess awesome that everything they do is like, you know, touch everything they touch is gold kind of thing if that ever is possible, but there, uh, some artists do pull that off. They, they do. Uh, but, uh, I, I don't think that's, ha you know, it's not happening, uh, anytime soon here at Let's Paint TV. And, and most likely it's not happening anytime soon for yourself. Uh, that, that's kind of, uh, one of those deals. It's, uh, it's not, it's not, uh, but uh, don't let that again, be the end uh, results uh, for your uh, creative, you know, don't let that stop you is what I'm trying to say, because that's, that's called the frustration factor. Uh, and, and it does hurt the, your ego is hurt when, when you, when you don't succeed. Uh, it, it just, it's just a, na nat a natural, uh, uh, formation of, of, of thought and, uh, procedure analysis, uh, and, and whatnot. So, uh, but, but again, if, if you can just, understand that that could be part of the process if you include that and say look man yeah hey man take a walk on the wild side and just let let the fuck you know the screwed up stuff happen and let it be because it is gonna be okay you're gonna have a better day uh possibly tomorrow maybe not today maybe not uh <laughs> next week maybe it's gonna take you uh, your whole life, <laughs> I laugh, but, uh, you know, there is sort of this struggle uh, that we uh, just, uh, I just, I'm trying to point out that uh, one could benefit from uh, ex not so much accepting, but tackling, tackling, uh, you know, take it head on. Uh, not, 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 uh, you know, you got to look at the, the right way. So if you're looking at it in, in the sense of, okay, uh, I suck, I failed, uh, I quit. No, you didn't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit on me now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, say, say to yourself, I suck, I failed, I keep going. You know what I'm saying? Just say that. I'm going to, we'll have to post that on Facebook. I like that. All right, let me, let me write that down. I'll post that up later. Okay, so or or something to that, to that, uh, that idea. Okay, I suck. I failed. I continue or something like that. I, I don't know if it's really that special, but you, I think it caught my drift uh, a little bit, and uh, that's because we are in smell around we are in smell around here today especially uh if you if you take a deep breath uh and that's me that's that's uh that's me smarty pants 818-528-4516 uh, 818-528-4516 818-528-4516 we got our gloves on guys we have an idea of what to paint and we put paint down onto the canvas onto the palette that is uh which will then therefore get onto the canvas and we're going to be doing that uh, right after these commercials. Oh, we, we don't have a commercial? Okay, well, and without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, 
let's get painting. Let's get to paint, guys. Let's get some paint on that canvas. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now, people. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Big brush, guys. Big brush, and this is going to be the Burt Reynolds burger, but we're going to put it in this uh, this mechanism. So let's just kind of uh, use this as our reference for now, and uh, hash it out. Okay. Hashtag hash it out. Hack it out. This is the bun. Okay. Look at that. Hey, we're painting. Look at that. Mom. Hi, mom. I'm painting. Look at that. Okay. So put the bun. Now this is the pretzel bun. This is uh, kind of the latest uh, deal uh, in the uh, the uh, burger wars, uh, the ongoing burger wars. Oh, that's a good idea. Burger wars. We should do a burger wars uh, painting where the burgers are killing each other and bombing each other. <laughs> I love that. I mean, I, I think I love it. I don't know. I, I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I love it enough to paint it, but I might, might want to try it. Burger Wars. <laughs> okay. 818-528-4516. Um, that is the number. Okay. Now that's just the start uh, of, of the beginning. This is just the beginning. Uh, and and again, we're not, we're not locking in on anything too much right now, except for uh, just kind of getting, going through the motions of putting some paint down. Which a lot of times uh, I I I want to always point out that that is usually one's uh, one 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 tends to uh, be slow on the trigger when it comes to that a lot of times, uh, particularly when we we're give, starting out uh, with the painting uh, as as uh, newbies, if you will, or novice novice painters or beginning painters. That that tends to be uh, the the, an issue I find, uh, I've seen. Okay, my my easel is uh, falling on me, so let me fix this here. Okay. Regroup. Get some water in us. Uh, I do find, I must say, that uh, we do pick up more viewers when I'm actually doing some painting, <laughs> painting as opposed to just talking uh, bullshit. Note to self. Um, okay. So, uh, so now we're we're just gonna kind of again hash hash it out. Again, this is the uh, we're not. We're just getting the move, you know, stuff on there. We're not necessarily locking in. We're not committed committed ourselves yet, uh, though. Uh, I, I think my family has uh, tried tried to commit me. Okay, that's a joke. But boom, boom. Okay, and there's some hip action there. Okay, so I'm thinking that might work. And that's Bert. That's Burt Reynolds. And okay, so though uh, I gotta put some, I'll do the cheese and stuff later. Let's uh, put go some good. What I liked about this painting, this picture, this uh, this idea that I'm working from. Burger Wars would be good, wouldn't it? I, I like that idea a lot. You check that out, Burger Wars. So up to date with the times. Okay, I miss. I don't know what that you mean, Laura. Okay. Anyway, uh, back to the painting. Okay, uh, there's our coke off to the right. Now, ideally, I think my canvas, uh, the structure of this uh, canvas uh, is uh, wobbly because of the easel. You know, the 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 structure that it's on. Uh, it's not being hold held down very well, is it? And uh, that sort of sucks. You know what I mean? It sucks. But you know what? Life sucks. And so sometimes having uh, conditions that are subpar uh, in, the, in the art making process can add to the, to, uh, to the process. It can, can be beneficial. Uh, 
not 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 always the the best move though um, and now if I put my hand down that might and stop holding it and just refer to it but I need it kind of there also all right let's just uh, that's the coke in a glass I kind of want to have, be able to look at this, which sucks because I feel like I can't, you know. Why? Why is that? Uh, well, because the damn easel thing is screwed up. Okay, the, the, the fries are over here, though. They're not black, which I have as such, which is not right, but that's okay. Well, and uh, they're sort of like a, a little wooden wood surface on the bottom which is more of a yellow ochre overall uh, but it's not but I got it probably the wrong deal let's uh, whiten it down a little bit needs a lot of work work but that's good that's there's there's nothing wrong with working uh, whistle whistle while you work need some more paint thinner this looks like uh, this looks like burger war right now I mean you know what I mean it looks like hell and uh, that's a good thing that's a good sign uh, I find and a lot of people make that mistake people who are looking on and they want to watch uh, someone paint have you ever I this is a uh, this is one okay I'm gonna get into a beef uh, here's my beef uh, uh, as I always end up having a beef of some sort uh, with, uh, with a fellow uh, uptight painters out there. Uh, <laughs> my beef. Uh, but when they do give, give, give demonstrations, uh, there is always uh, people who do that, uh, who, who are, uh, find a, I tend, they tend to give off the most demonstrations. I know, like rarely do you see someone give a demonstration the way I do it. Where, where I, I provide like hell, hell, uh, right, right from the start, uh, you know, it looks like crap. You know what I mean? You rarely see, you see that when someone does a demonstration because they couldn't, they can't handle it. Viewers, onlookers don't want to see that because they want to see success right from the get go. And so our kind of painting here at Let's Paint TV doesn't provide that, but at the end, that's where, where the, you know, we, we still provide a painting at the end, potentially. Uh, you know, so uh, just, a, just a little beef that I, that I have. So what I'm trying to say is it does look like crap at the moment, but, but we could either solidify the crap uh, or, or fine-tune the crap or do something with what we got. And... And we, we're still in a freedom. We're, we have freedom here. There is freedom here. There's, there's freedom. We're not restricting ourselves, which I, which I think is uh, something that we all could benefit by, uh, by, by understanding that, uh, that process uh, that we, we like to provide, provide for you here. Uh, it's not for everyone. Uh, maybe it's a little too uh, willy-nilly. Maybe it's just a little too scary. You know, uh, I know, I, I know it, it has to be for a lot of you out there. Who are uh, uh, painters? I don't know if anyone of you actually are painters uh, or, or, or artists uh, who uh, who are interested in, in making artwork. Uh, but but if you are, uh, and I know it might scare scare the Dickens uh, out of you, uh, this kind of process. But that's that's uh, that's good. That's good that it does uh, does do that also. You know. Um, but again, if you just take a little nib niblet uh, of, of what we're trying to do here uh, and, and make, it, make it your own, that's, that's, I'd be happy to hear that uh, if you could do that. Uh, okay, so now this, this area is kind of a dark shadowed area. It's, it's a really dramatic uh, ad 
for this uh, hamburger. Okay, so we're gonna, and I'm still using my big brush as long as possible. Okay, so this is dark shadow down here. Okay. Now this is going to be a Burt Reynolds burger. I don't, I don't have any real clever thing to say about this, so I'm not really sure. Okay, we got to take a quick break. Let's go to a commercial break here, guys. I'll be right back in two minutes. All right, we're back. Sorry for the uh, for that uh, delay. Well, we we've lost. Uh, we only have three people watching the program. Uh, well, that's all right. Hey, uh, it's Let's Paint TV. We're we're uh, we're trying to find our 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 feet on the ground. We are trying to find our feet planted. Plant our feet on on the. Um, on a uh, creative plane of sorts, you know? All right, uh, back to the painting, back to the painting. Let's try to, let's try to hash this out and, and finish it. I, I don't, I got a show to do. I can't just be uh, goofing off. <laughs> though, though in a sense, I am goofing off, you know? Painting can be a goof off, you know? Uh, the fun, the fun, guys. Think of the fun. Okay, there's like some caramelized uh, coloring from the Coke guy so let's put some little line it's like on a, a coke that on a glass a coke glass so i kind of i don't want to lose some of the the delicious uh, quality from the paint that i got going on there okay so that's uh, that's there okay i'm kind of happy with that for the most part now let's let's work on some more of the darks and i'm going to bring in the fries onto the right whoops here, let's let's get. We're gonna get painting here. We we we're gonna run out of time here, as I as I always do. I I uh, try to. I end up biting uh, too much, biting off too much of, of the burger. Okay. Now maybe I want to put the burger bun a little higher. So I can get the lettuce going. Here's the lettuce. Pop, 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 pop. That's, I don't really want to be doing that with my brush work, you know. But I'm taking a, I guess I'm taking a shortcut, which is fine. Uh, okay, there's the tomato and then there's some cheese. Okay, that, that's going to probably be just fine uh, for the structure. And then the fries off to the right. Okay, let's get the fries here. Uh, need some more yellow. I'm really short on yellow here. 818-528-4516. I'm really uh, glad that you guys made it to the program here, even though uh, there's only uh, there's really no one watching. I you know talk about the wildness of this. Look how goofy it is. <laughs> it's just it is so goofy. I love it. Now I'm probably not going to make it as goofy uh, at the end, which I'm always tr I'm, I'm partially troubled by that. I don't, I, I'm not that smart, you know, <laughs> I know a lot of people out there are, are really smart and, and I always have an issue with people that, that uh, are, are too smart for their own good kind of deal. Uh, and, and I'm always battling with that, uh, to some degree, not really, but, uh, but I know there's a lot of people out there that, that, uh, seem to have that, uh, ability to, uh, to be smarter than the uh, the average bear, which is uh, which is fine. I, I I think we all kind of want to think that we're sort of smart about things. I I like to think I'm smart about things, but I'm at least I'm being honest with you right now, to saying that I don't really know how to make a great painting. You know, 
I, I really don't. And, and I'm being honest. I, 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 I mean, uh, this is like a confessional, this, this program. I, ultimately, uh, every day, let's paint uh, and confess uh, our, our uh, pathetic nature. And yet, uh, on the rebound, uh, the fact that we, we feel uh, we're really smart, too, at the same time. <laughs> All right, uh, but, uh, but I, I know, I know. I'm a big loser. I can handle it. In fact, I like being a big loser because I like to fight. And see, when you're a loser, you have to fight. If you're, if you're the winner, if you're a smart, smart all the time, you, you can't, you, you're not going to, you know, you can't handle rejection. You can't handle anything because you're an egotistical uh, asshole, uh, though maybe you could. <laughs> what am I talking about? All right, uh, let's get back to the painting here, uh, if we can. 818-528-4516. We're, we're running out of time, guys, um, and uh, and I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry about that. That's my fault. I didn't uh, plan for this uh, correctly, uh, as you can see, and 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 as such, uh, we I am I am jipping you from some some really uh, important uh, painting. But uh, nevertheless, uh, that is what we have uh, in front of us, uh, time. Time, time constraints. And, and, uh, and, and as such, we, we really can't uh, do anything more than uh, just hang in there and, and try or do our best, guys, uh, as you know. As you know, you gotta just do your best. Be, be all you can be uh, for, uh, from, from here to signing, uh, from C to shining C. How about that? That felt good. That felt good. Felt really good. Does that feel good? I'm telling you, these fries look delicious. Mm. Got me some fries going on here. And they go off the, the side of the page. So, again, we're using we're, what we're doing here, uh, which is, I, I like this, uh, kind of mixing it up. Um, making our own, our own ads, which is... Uh, we, as mentioned, I, there's only a few of you here, and uh, but maybe maybe one or two of you are new. Next Saturday, Saturday night, we'll be in San Diego at the uh, Space for Art, guys. San Diego, California, Space for Art. Be making hamburgers for you, fries, uh, all that kind of good stuff uh, right there. I uh, hope you guys can make it, and we'll see you there. Uh, one way or the other, we'll, we'll see you, uh, I guess. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, so uh, those kind of look like fries. Fantastic. Now, there's like a little red cutesy uh, uh, blanket for the fries. Uh, this is part of the product. You know, someone put a lot of effort into making this look really uh, delicious. And so they put down some... Uh, some, a nice little bed, a blanket of sorts, uh, a red blanket for the, the fries. And uh, this area kind of gets dark, uh, and so we'll continue that. And, and they don't have to, you know, the, the interesting thing too here, guys, is that we all know what f uh, hamburgers look like. So in a weird way, we can get away with murder in terms of, of uh, the implications, uh, the, 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 the painting of them, if you will. The, the, the rendering, the rendering of these guys. Uh, we, we can get away with uh, kind of screwing it up, if you, if you know what I mean. Okay, so there, there's a... There, there's uh, kind of working out a little bit of uh, Brent, Brent Musburger. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not Brent Musburger. It's uh, it's Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. That'd be good. Uh, Brent Musburger. <laughs> okay, maybe not. All right, eight one eight five two eight four five one six. We're running out of time, guys. Uh, sadly, as mentioned, but uh, there's still a few more minutes. If you want to call in, uh, you are welcome to do so. Okay, so there's his uh, arm. There you go.
brush, big brush, guys. Uh, get back to a big brush here, as we all uh, like to mention here, bring up, talk about. Uh, kind of dirty. Uh, not what I'm wanting out of my brush right now. So I'm a little uh, perturbed, if you will. But that's okay. We'll. Uh, sometimes you gotta hash hash it out. Hack away, even with the bad stuff, the stuff that ain't working right. Uh, that's that's uh, kind of kind of what we like to do here at uh, Let's Paint TV. So we got to refuel, refuel uh, with this. I can't zoom out any more than uh, than I got here. Right now, again, getting back to my point. Uh, and, and this is, this is a stickling, a stickling point that, uh, that I always have with, uh, after many 30 plus years of painting and particularly outdoors, painting outdoors where you have, uh, people watching, uh, seeing your work, seeing you working, uh, and without fail, when you are starting off painting, particularly the way I paint, where it kind of looks like crap right from the get go. <laughs> And believe me, it may end up as crap too. It may, may very well be, be. but uh, many times it doesn't. And, and many times at the very end, it starts to gel and it starts to look great. But most people do not uh, understand that that can be done that way. You, most people do not understand painting could be painted. A painting can be crap uh, all the way to the very end. You know, it's a, mis, a mis, misunderstanding. And again, it's it's just it's uh, it's a screwy world. That's all I can say. Screwy, screwy world. All right. Uh, I need to put put more paint down again. I keep uh, running out. Of, I keep. I think I was. I thought I had to put enough stuff down, and uh, apparently, I had not. So, let's. Uh, but that's a big piece, and uh, it, it asks for a lot. And so, because of such, we got to refuel. Let's put some more alizarin crimson down here. And what I need now is some yellow ochre, yellow ochre. Boom. Boom. There you go. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to need, basically, I'm going to need a little everything. So, uh, the green, I guess I'm all right with. Uh, red and blue. I need back more of that blue. Use up a lot of that blue. I tell you, I use so much blue. It's amazing how much blue I use. Give us a call here, guys. Uh, if, uh, by the way, okay, next, uh, we're sort of officially over with the program, uh, almost, uh, at 12 noon. Uh, I'm going to stay on just to finish this, so you guys you guys going to get some extra time here today, all right? Do, do I hear an applause? Do I hear an applause out there? Fantastic. Fantastic, Sam's. Now, uh, just before you guys leave, if you are leaving, uh, next Saturday... We're going to be in lovely San Diego, California. San Diego, California at Space for Art, people. And we're going to be, I'm going to be painting hamburgers and french fries and all that kind of stuff. All your favorite fast food fare. Uh, and I'm going to be offering it to you uh, at a very, very affordable price at fast food prices. Next Saturday night, fast food paintings. Next Saturday night uh, at Space for Art, Space for Art in San Diego. Look it up, you'll find it pretty easy to do. Otherwise, otherwise, guys, uh, please, please feel free to uh, go to letspainttv.com. Okay, someone called me here. Let's see what that's about. Oh geez, this is the test. This is a test of the uh, West LA uh, West, yeah, West LA College text alert system. Let us know if it's working. Yeah, it's working. All right, let's get back to the paint. Uh, I'll probably shut up and just try to work more on this painting. Uh, my my uh, 
my performance, it, whatever uh, lackluster or, or not, uh, is uh, basically over. And uh, so now I'm really going to get more into the painting and, and stick around, see, see if we can finish this. Okay, I got the blue, uh, more yellow, I suppose. Yeah, more yellow. Like I said, I'm kind of running out of yellow. Oh. But we just got a little bit left and I do have another tube of it somewhere so I can go pull it out if I need, need be. That's the one problem about this art racket of sorts is uh, having to buy the damn art supplies. It's, uh, but I must say the, the, the painting on this cardboard is a very, very inexpensive uh, operation. Uh, and, and it kind of gives an, an interesting result. I, I don't know if it's exactly you know, gonna be what anyone really ever wants or, or even the value to them. It kind of cheapens the work in a weird way, or at least I see it as such. Uh, but, but then again, um, you know, maybe, maybe it, there is uh, something to it. Right? I, I honestly just thought that, uh, you know, in a, personally, the reason why I, I liked uh, this for, particularly fast food paintings, is the throwaway, uh, you know, it, it kind of goes hand in hand with the throwaway mentality of, of fast food. And uh, so why not paint on uh, sub uh, humane uh, surfaces of sorts? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, there's the bun again. I'm going to be using a lot of yellow ochre, I can tell. Just right here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a bed of cheese. He's on a bed of cheese because he is a sort of a cheesy guy. Burt Reynolds. You guys probably don't know who he is, do you? Does anyone even know who Burt Reynolds is? He was, he, he was at one time the most remarkable man alive. You know what I mean? He was... Uh, he was a popular entity, a, a quantity. Uh, maybe, maybe not so much anymore. Kind of, kind of forgotten. Okay. I mean, he was up there. He was. You know what? There was a time when he was bigger than Clint Eastwood. But uh, Clint showed him, didn't he? He showed him who was, who was boss. Okay, there's the tomato. Do 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 da 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 do 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 do
I'm just using a rag to paint this background, you know. I always have to use a brush, always, see. But I, that's not the color I want. Let's get some more white.
uh, what's that? Uh, sing an optimistic song. You are my sunshine. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really, uh, I'm kind of honing in on the, uh, this painting, fixing this uh, painting right now, getting it done. So uh, I'm not going to be singing it. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. Do 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 do
some sesame seeds here. Where's that cheese? I guess the cheese is down there. Just leave the cheese there. Whatever stuff we want to put back there, I don't know. <laughs> doesn't have to make it all sense, does it? No, it does not. Limited time offer. Burt Reynolds Burger, I guess. Limited time offer.
No. Thank you, Miles. Kind of fucked up that thing. I was fix it. Did it wrong. Too much. Okay, let's do it smaller, smaller,
Okay, that's better. Okay, now. I spell Burt Reynolds. Oh, here it is, Burt Reynolds. I should do Bert Reynolds Burger. Okay. Well, gotta wipe that off. And start over again. Do 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 So, do that differently. Yeah. 
Okay. Now we gotta go. Uh oh. For Reynolds Cheeseburger. Burt Reynolds cheeseburger. Kind of a cheesy guy. Okay, so then we just put in new. And I think we'll be done. Let's get it new. Let's get some light.
Okay. That may be it for us here today. Maybe it for the painting. Let's fix that little blob. What else bothers me? Okay. I think we're done. Okay, that's it. I quit. I quit. Now I clean my brushes. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, Cox Boy, I, you know, the program is from 11 to 12 noon. That's why I do most of my talking. I don't talk. Uh, if I do anything afterwards, I'm going to be painting, and that's about it.